Well, welcome back to our live at Wimbledon Interactive Studio. And it's been a fabulous day at uh, Wimbledon here today. Women's quarterfinals and some men's doubles has been played today as well. So I'm delighted to say we can welcome into our studio now Jamie Murray and John Pierce, who had a fabulous win today. You're into the semi finals for the first time, both of you. Congratulations. Uh, what's clicked with both of you? Everything. Uh, yeah, everything. <laughs> that sounds good. The rain stayed away and the sun's been out this time. It's been good. Yeah, what about you, Jamie? What are your thoughts on how you've been playing and uh, what seems to be working well? Um, we, well, today we played a really solid match from start to finish. I think um, the two matches before that we were a little bit in and out. Um, but, you know, we managed to get through over five, uh, five sets, which was, uh, which was big for us because I think the last two years we played here we lost in five sets both times. Uh, so it was nice to get over the over the final hurdle in that case. Uh, I think today we served really well in particular. I didn't really give them many looks on the, on the return games because both those guys are well known for uh, for their returns. Um, and you know, we're looking forward to playing on Thursday and trying to get into the final. Nice to see that the hall was pretty much every seat was filled there. Nice to pick a Brit to play with. Yeah, I'm mean, that's good. Yeah, yeah it's good. I yeah, two, yeah, I get two home slams now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that makes a big difference, I would think. For you, I mean, you don't play with the crowd support the whole the whole year, so to have it here must make yeah, a difference. Yeah, it's huge for us. I huge, think, yeah. um, you know, a lot of times we're on the road, we're not necessarily playing in front of huge uh, stadiums and in front of a lot of people. And, you know, for us to play here, play big courts, but, you know, see a lot of people come out to support us. And today was pretty packed again. So, yeah, it's more inspiring to get out there and try and play some great tennis. Because sometimes it's, e it's nearly more important when you're playing doubles, I found, when I was playing, because there's shorter points and you need to be more fired up because things happen with singles, you, you sort of get, you know, it's you and the other guy and you don't care who's watching, but doubles is all about uh, inspiration and spontaneity. My mate, my mate can come from anywhere, you come from a little little shank or, or you can just, some couple of reflex here or there, mm. the points can change so quickly and that's, that's the key thing we found today, we just kept the momentum rolling and rolling and we kept on top of them today. Mm, we good. had Leander Pays in the studio earlier today and he's obviously spanned across many, uh, decades. not general, yeah, decades, <laughs> decades exactly. Decades. I think we were saying, what was it? Centuries. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 19th, huh? back to Into his seventh uh, Olympics, I think you said earlier yeah, today. Seven, but yeah. uh, he was talking about volleys and how it's progressed and come on. In your time, both of you out there on the tour, what have you noticed the changes in men's doubles? Because it seems every time I watch it, there are so many different things going on. It's almost like gambling out there in terms of what you do. But I'm sure there's a real art to, to some of the, the techniques and things that you do? I think I think a lot of the intricacies have gone out of it actually. I think um, a lot of it now, you're kind of modern doubles players like big serve, take a big cut on the return. A lot of guys staying back now on their serves and you know wailing away at forehands. Uh, that's not my style at all. No. <laughs> um, completely opposite to that. Um, you know, but John, he can trade with the guys. I mean, he's got a great forehand. He's got a big serve as well. Um, you know, and I think, um, you know, it's probably not like you used to see doubles no, like not 10, 15 years ago. Um, but, you know, we've had to adapt to that as well. Um, you know, we're always going to work on our reflex because the ball's coming so fast at you these days. You get such little time to, to react. Um, like John made a couple of great steals today off big shots um, and in the match yesterday as well. Um, you know, things like that, you know, that's just that's what you've got to be good at, try and defend those balls as best you can because you know these guys are stand there and hit all day at you. But is it easier to play the old-fashioned doubles like you say you you like to play on grass? Yeah it's definitely yeah because the guys I mean you know it's like you've got less time on the return you know it's on clay the ball can kind of sit there and the you know, guys running around and yeah. yeah the ball's shooting through more so the guys got less time to kind of load up and you mm -hmm. know give the ball a smack so uh, and also, like me being lefty, you can use my lefty serve more. It's like swinging around a bit. Um, mm. Yeah, so I think for for us, it's yeah, grass is a good surface. It's not my favourite surface, Isn't but it? yeah, I usually no. prefer playing on clay. But um, I just yeah, but grass, you know. With, it's tricky, my style isn't it? is better, yeah. I think, it's, I think grass is tricky. It's yeah. difficult for balance, isn't it? And movement around the court. It's a yeah. real art in terms of how you play on it. Yeah. Yeah. I no. mean, yeah, go on. i got to ask you something because when I played doubles here, it was so different because it's five sets yeah. in the first round through. And it was, it was, even though grass is sort of risky and there's a gam some gambling involved, it's like, wow, great, we got to play five sets of doubles. You have so many opportunities compared to what you're used to on the regular tour yeah. and even in the in the other slam. So how do you guys, I mean, do you like the five sets of doubles? I love five yeah. sets doubles, yeah. I think yeah. we both do. I think all the doubles teams do because I think, um, I don't think many doubles players enjoy this the scoring system that we play on the oh, regular tour. They? And I think they, 
a lot of them would probably like to change that if there was the op- opportunity. Mm. But you know, over five sets, like you say, the best team wins. Um, you know, and like you said, you know, things can be going bad, and you know, you can you got plenty of time to turn it around. And uh, we managed to do that in the second round. The other guys we played yesterday, we were up two sets. They came back. We managed to to get through. So there's always time. Whereas in the tournaments that we play it on the ATP well, it's such a penalty like, shootout isn't it one guy it? gets hot I mean that can change the match and yeah. he can all of a sudden break by himself yes. hold serve and bang things have changed without you even realising yeah. because one guy's got streaky and yeah, if you win one yeah, set, then exactly. you just got to win one tiebreak, and anyone tie can win a tiebreak. Yeah. Mm. Do you think it will ever change again if the guys put enough pressure on the powers that be that yeah, they might change the scoring back again? I, I, I don't know, honestly. I mean, I know they change it because they want more singles guys playing doubles, um, and they wanted to try to put more doubles matches on bigger courts, but that didn't really happen, I don't think. Although singles guys obviously play doubles a lot more. The money's good in doubles as well mm. now, so mm. you know this guy's got more incentive to play. Um, but. You know, if if I had my way, I would play two normal sets and a champions tie break, right. or best of three sets with Sunday juice. I all see. Through. So more yeah, three no, sets rather yeah. than have both. Right. Yeah, like, that would be my because actually p- preference. it is. It's quite uh, it's hairy, isn't it? It's a, <laughs> it's a penalty yeah. shooter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like we were playing Queens the other week, and we were. I mean, we were dominating, weren't we? We we didn't lose a point on a Good. serve the whole second set. We get to like six five. The other guys played one good game. They broke us. Then we lost a tie break, and you know, ten minutes we were at the tournament. That that was it, having well, been ahead the whole the whole match. Right, Whereas yeah. that wouldn't happen. Yeah. 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 The fact that you're having to play five sets here, does it sort of do you have to delve into a different part, sort of uh, emotionally, as it were? And the focus is so different, isn't it, in terms of your concentration to keep up that level over five sets, as opposed to with the total opposite in terms of what you just said with the scoreline every day. So that must be taking you into yeah, a different place. Yeah, I feel it's just a lot more ebbs and flows. I mean, you watch the singles matches, there's guys, momentum changing, shifts mm. here and there and everywhere, and you've got time to see things evolve. Mm. And I think the same thing happens over five sets. You've actually got time to make plays happen, set certain plays up mm. and just see what happens over a course of a full five set match. Yeah. It's not just like a shootout, you can get hot and one thing can work and then that'll get you the job done on that day. But over five sets, you've got time to take those things away and then adapt and change and yeah really just almost play a little bit of chess out there. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to say yeah, something. Yeah, I think like, for us, it's a big change because, you know, on the regular tour, our matches are kind of an hour to an hour and a half max and, you know, super intense from start to finish. Uh, whereas here, obviously, you know, if you're kind of bouncing around for mm. five hours, that's pretty tiring to do that. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you've got to conserve energy a bit. And, you know, like John said, you know, you can, there's so, much, so many changes of momentum and, you know, I guess in terms of like your energy as well, you know, like I think you got to know when to kind of conserve your energy or emotionally as well. I think um, you got to deal with that differently as well. Whereas, you know, in the course of an hour, you just just got mm. sprint. It's sprint start and just keep going and keep going, going, going. Yeah. You're yeah. playing these guys behind us here the next round. Yeah. So how much would you watch them and what what do you? Because in singles, you you go and watch. You well, you know certain. You know that your brother's forehand might not be as good as his backhand. We know that. But then you look at tendencies, right? It's yeah, easy yeah, in singles. Yeah. In doubles, I always found it hard to... Oh, well, I know the one guy has the worst backhand than the forehand when they came to the net. But what else do you guys look at? Do, do, are they yeah. playing good as a team right now? or? Yeah, I think for... I mean, I like getting out and watching matches because you never know what you might pick up on. And, I, you know, in doubles, it's, I think it's a lot more tactical than singles. Um, you know, we have like our set plays that we like doing. Uh, I'm sure those guys as well. You know, whether it's you know serving to a certain place and your partner moving to a certain spot on the Do court. Do you know or, all those set plays from all the doubles teams? Um, a lot of the top ones, you know, a lot of the ones they want to do. Right. It's just a matter of whether they're doing them well that week or not. Right. Okay. And as Jamie said, he enjoys going out and watching it and actually picking up, seeing whether some guys will be doing some things well, really well that week and other things not so great. Right. Yeah. It's just I think, yeah, I think the biggest it. thing for us is, you know, knowing where a guy likes to serve, um, probably his point. better return or his weaker return, mm. you know. And if, yeah, so say the guy's serving wide, does his partner like to cross or does he stay mm. or whatever, that sort of that sort of stuff? Yeah. Are you both big signalers behind the back? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. Somebody told me that even now on the men's tour, that they have scouts out down the other end watching the signals I, and then having somebody <laughs> pass it on down really the other I don't end. think that is true. I've never I, experienced I, that. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Max Murray, he told me one time he was playing in the French Open and he was playing uh, two guys. Not going to name them, but yeah. they. They were playing eye formation a lot, and yeah. the, the guys they were playing against kept avoiding the guy at the net, yeah. and they were like, 
how did he keep doing this? Yeah, and then he realised that he had a guy at the back of the court giving them, you know, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. That's not legal, obviously. I know it's quite funny. Yeah, just give us your thoughts on the singles that's going on. I mean, what happened today? Novak Djokovic coming through against Chilich. That was quite a win, wasn't it? Kevin Anderson. John, what do you think? Oh, it didn't even know that. Oh, you didn't know that. Kevin Anderson. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. Okay. Okay. Came through seven five in the fifth against Kevin Anderson today. Yeah. Interesting. And am I right in thinking that Andy's not allowed to watch your doubles? Is this right? A if people were just asking us yeah, that now, you know, he can watch. I've heard of it. <laughs> not, not, like not he true. never watches me play. I lose <laughs> plenty of times <laughs> when I'm watching, I so he can't be much of a jinx. I'm more than happy to come yeah. out of court. <laughs> okay, so it's not a superstitious thing. No. Somebody said it to me, and I thought, oh, okay, I'll ask him. But <laughs> you don't know anything words. about it. Okay, well, let's give a score update on the on the women. Oh, in fact, I've got to go uh, back one hit. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, well. Because Serena Williams is uh, in a spot of bother out here, actually. 6 3 to Victoria Azarenka at the moment over Serena Williams, but Serena Williams is 2 1 up. I've got to ask you, Jamie, of course, the Davis Cup team was announced today. You're in the team. Excited? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it'll be a really uh, great tie, I would imagine. I mean, France got a really strong team, a lot of great players. Um, we've obviously got Andy, who's doing great and Wardy I think it was really good for him that he had a good Wimbledon here because he hadn't had so many wins leading up to the tie so I think um, yeah it'll be an exciting weekend I think uh, we like our chances to win uh, we know we'll have to perform really well if we want to do that but you know I think it's pretty uh, a lot of motivation there to try to get to the semi-finals of the Davis Cup. Mm. Yeah it's going to be exciting well Excellent. thank you so much for joining us here today and when are you next on tomorrow? Thursday. 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 Yeah. Thursday. So you're going to day off. Earn, so earn the day off. Earn the day off. off. So how are you going to spend the day off? Yeah. What are you going to do? Bit of practice and what else? Bit of practice. Put the ice bath. <laughs> no, I won't be going to another <laughs> ice bath. Ice bath. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't go for no, two I've in done, a row? I've already done two in two days. So <laughs> okay. Have a day off tomorrow with that, I think. Right. Yeah, fantastic. Save the pump exactly. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy it, and thank you so much for coming up to talk to us, and thank very best of luck in the next one. Thanks for having me.